You know, it's very clear, you know, a teacher never teaches. The student learns. This is very important. A student must inspire the teacher to teach. Or else there's no point in it. Uh, they say, uh, I've heard this from Shivji and so many other artists, that uh, knowledge is like a fast flowing river. And that river is passing through, just like Lord Shiva, Ganga passes through him. The river of knowledge passes through a teacher, a guru, a friend, a mentor. It doesn't matter. And it's up to the student to be able to get a cup out of that river or a bucket or a truckload out of that river. It's up to the student. And so whenever I played in, my, in, in the room and I was practicing, I was always looking to see if, I, if I'm going to get any attention at all from the man. And that attention only came when I actually took the information that was given to me and twisted it to reveal a different angle in it. When I did that, there would be a hmm. And then suddenly he would walk and he'd be standing at the doorway and he'd say, okay, now do Suddenly, you know, I had inspired a, a chain of events in his mind and then he and, and which allowed him to be able to then just add to what I was doing and say, okay, you've done this and it's good. He wouldn't say it's good, but that's what the reaction to it was. Do this, 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 this. So inspiration would come. So the teacher would never teach a student has to get that information out and inspire the teacher to teach you. So this is something that we all